In the ring to my right from Comac, New York, weighing 238 pounds, Gino Carabello. His opponent from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, at 252 pounds, David San Martino. All right, David San Martino. Lock up with Gino Carbello. And if the style in the ring of David San Martino is reminiscent of uh, of wrestling's living legend, it's by design, I would think. It, it, it must be almost like deja vu uh, to <laughs> to watch David in the ring, Bruno, and I mean the way that he executes uh, an arm drag and, and things of that nature. I mean it's it's Bruno. Well, yes, uh, we our styles are very very similar, and I must say that uh, several weeks ago when we had the opportunity of wrestling together, I, I, I really enjoyed it. That was a beautiful suplex David just executed on Carabello. So Martino and Carvello. Well, you know, Vince, he was watching me since he was like uh, five, six years of age, both at the arena and on television and what have you. And uh, he started wrestling when he was very, very young. And I don't know. If, I don't think he tried to copy my style. I think it just came natural to him. Well, it logically would. I mean, you're built very similarly. And again, uh, I can't think of, uh, of anyone to attempt to follow in someone's footsteps. Uh, in terms of adulation or whatever it may be I mean it's David trying to follow in your footsteps or doing in his own footsteps but having you to look up to has to be a tremendous plus for David I would think well but I think he's I think he's very talented I think he does a good job for himself he's got a lot of desire he trains up there. Oh, wow. I'm surprised he didn't get him <laughs> yeah I'm surprised too I'm the, Frankly, that was quite impressive because usually in a hip lock for him to use his weight to come down so heavy on Carabello, you don't see that too often. Matter of fact, uh, you've had the, well, I would think uh, for a father and especially someone who holds a prominence in profession. Ooh, my! Oh, slapping back and forth. Now that is... That is the ultimate insult, to slap in the face like that. And I'll tell you what, I know David is tempered too, and that Carabella might regret that. Oh, my! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, my! Whoa, baby! David does have a temper! <laughs> I think Carabella made a mistake when he slapped David. He shouldn't have done that. I know David well, and he does have a temper. Power slam! Puts the leg! And it's lights off! <laughs> David Sammartino, victorious. And now a little bad mouth uh, to Carabello as he peered down on his defeated foe. Your winner... David San Martino. David San Martino, a little wink there to some of the fans about ringside. You've had the pleasure, uh, Bruno, who we were saying earlier, of on an occasion teaming up with uh, David in, in tag team action, have you not? Yes, uh, I, you know, he's always wanted that very, very much, and I'll tell you, I must say, uh, Vincent, I enjoyed uh, being with David. Here we go, look at this. Now, this is where he gets Carabella. Carabella really got him angry, I think, and David really gave him a pretty good shellac, and here he meets him, with, and I must say, it's a devastating power slam. He really executes his great, and then he hooks the leg, and uh, he's got him down for a one to three count. All right. David San Martino, look at that expression on his face. You don't think that man has a temper? My goodness. Carbello found out the hard way. To uh, join us later on, ladies and gentlemen, the Hart Foundation scheduled up next, after which uh, Mr. Wonderful Paul Lornorf will join us in a tag team matchup. The Animal also headed our way. George the Animal Steel, that is, and did another tag team matchup featuring Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and his tag team partner, King Tonga. All of that and more in addition, of course, to Rowdy Roddy Piper in Piper's...